Well, you've heard me say it before, and I hope you know now it is true. I do play requests, and I had a bunch of subscribers here on YouTube say, Anthony, let's revisit that old Wacom Cintiq that you took to Windows 11, even though your machine did not meet the hardware requirements of Windows 11. Yeah, I don't have a TPM chip. Never mind the wrong version of TPM. It's just flat out not there. The hardware is not there. I also have an i7 CPU here that does not meet the requirements for Windows 11. So I had both issues. No TPM, no supported CPU. Well, my subscribers have been asking me to revisit this system and you know what they're interested in, of course. How are the updates progressing? So as you can see, if we go into the update history, yes, I am receiving the feature updates and the quality updates. Now, of course, we have to understand if Microsoft is releasing some update that is going to involve some feature of the CPU or the TPM, well, that update isn't going to work for me because, again, I don't meet those. But as far as the other updates, notice they're coming down just fine. So uh, this whole, you know, kind of uh, mass hysteria about, oh, yeah, we're going to be squeezed out of, uh, you know, Windows 11, even though we have this machine that could run it beautifully like the one I'm on right now. Yeah, it's not as much of a concern as we thought. Now, there's definitely something else I would recommend that you be checking with these systems. And that is, you know, I'm a big fan of this. It's the reliability history feature. So if you search on the word reliability, you'll find your reliability monitor. This is going to be great to keep an eye on as you are deploying out this early edition of Windows 11. Notice on this particular day, my WebEx crashed and some Windows updates did fail to deliver on this day. Uh, this was the My Phone integration that failed. And guess what? That's fine. Don't care won't be integrating a phone with this system. But you do see how great this is going to be, right? For us to go in and monitor the reliability and you can see, oh, happy day. Uh, my system is just getting more and more reliable here as time progresses. And I don't know about you, but that's exactly what I want to see. Notice I'm still in the first two weeks here but if we go to the day-by-day -day breakdown, it certainly does appear that things are becoming more stable and more reliable. Uh, let me just, uh, to uh, kind of for completion's sake, let me just remind you about this system that you saw me upgrade and you saw me bypass those TPM and CPU checks. So I'll just kind of leave this up so you can see information about this system that is uh, running Windows 11 Pro. And I got to tell you, I just couldn't be happier uh, with this system now that it is Windows 11 Pro from my previous edition of Windows 10. Just really enjoying this OS on this older device so much more. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.